What's going on, my fro force? You're chill with Bookville Books, and we're back for another part of Let's Play Bravely Second Blind. Last time, we found out we've actually got a bit of catching up to do on certain things, but otherwise, we're progressing pretty smoothly throughout the story. And our duty to defeat Baal. The technology and weaponry to do so passed down by our ancestors. No ball appeared in my father's time, nor in his father's before him, to think it would come in mine. Well, I mean, we can use the technology to fight the Kaiser, too. As soon as that fiend came within range, we unleashed the fury of our arms. But the beast survived our attack and fled. That's what brought me to Florum. I thought I could track the ball's movements. Yes. When next we find the beast, our aim will be true. We will blow that ball and the castle that holds it clear out of the sky. Okay, so it's confirmed they are ho they are hosting a ball in that castle. Just a moment. Someone very important to us is inside that castle. What's this you say? That is unfortunate indeed. And yet it does not change what we must do. Uh oh What? This is our sworn mission, passed down among my people for generations untold. Duty calls, and we cannot turn our backs on it. But, but... Uh, it's on, yes. What does she have to say about this? Concern yourself with me. If you have the power to fell the beast, then let it be done. Oh, come on, Anya. Don't be the self sacrificing type now. Giving my life will save our world. I gladly give it. What are you saying? That's unacceptable, and you know it. We're not just going to stand by and let you sacrifice yourself. We're Anya's Avengers, remember? That's right. We already made up our minds. We're saving you and defeating the ball. Did they hang up on Please, her? Or did Elder, she hang up on him? Could you give us just a little more time? We only need enough time to rescue Agnes. No, I fear the risk is too great. The next time the ball comes within range, we will fire. Then don't let it get in range. Go to the freaking castle. If you would save your friend in the castle, I suggest you save her quickly. <laughs> I am sorry, my friends. This is what we were put here to do. We can't blame you for doing your duty, but we have a duty of our own to perform. That's right. We'll storm the skyhold and save Agnes. Just like how we stormed Eternia. But now, how will we get there in time? We're going to need to find a way to get airborne. Okay. I will help as best I can. Together, we will find a way. Surely we have something useful here. Just let me know. Hey, you. Let's check out the cannon first. You think? Well, I suppose we've got to start somewhere. We're not going to sabotage the cannon, are we? That'd be some bullshit right there, and you know it. Party chat. A boy's dreams, a man's fears. Come on, this way, hurry! Wait, I'm coming too! What in the world is going on? You two are as giddy as children at a toy shop. And why wouldn't we be? There's like the world's biggest cannon right there! Exactly! A huge weapon like that, and it's any boy's dream. Any boy? And idea? You betcha! It's the boy's dream that can- that even girls can dream about. Huh? Alright. <laughs> I'm not sure what I follow, but I'm happy to see you take an interest in our technology. Lotus, do you all do the do you do all the work maintaining that huge cannon on your own? I most certainly do. Oh, holy shit. It is a difficult job, but a most fulfilling one. Talk about a dream job. What I wouldn't give to be your assistant engineer. <laughs> yes, I suppose it is the dream job of any boy with an interest in mechanics and machines. And yes, it is true that even the toughest tasks do seem do not seem so trying when you have a dream to support you. 
Be it battling a ball, or working thousands of feet up in the air, nothing is quite as scary when you do it for your dreams. The thousands of feet up in the air? Hmm? What's the matter, you? Come on, Mr. Assistant Engineer. I'm going to leave you behind. You go on ahead. I have to, uh, wash my boots or something. And there's that fear again. I do want to check out that cannon. Geist! Geist the Bloody! That was his name! Why couldn't I remember it? Why is it always after that I was able to remember it? Why? Ooh, item? Arctic Wind. Eh. Man, this is huge. What you doing up here, kid? Well, at least they're giving us subtitles this time. J'espère que tu as été sage, Procyon. Behaving and doing what your grandfather tells you. Of course, Papa. Speak both languages. That way they learn both. I like it. C'est qui ces gens? Ils ont des habits rigolos. These are our guests, Procyon. Don't be rude. Your son? Yes, my only boy. He's quite a handful. Don't ask me where he gets it from. <laughs> That's good. Means he's healthy. Sure. As long as he doesn't break his neck first. Falling off the sky? Or out of the sky? You for the overprotective type. My wife, may she rest in peace, was the Elder's only child. The future of our people depends on him. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... No, it's fine. Time's healed the wounds. Papa, why a coiffure bizarre, le monsieur? Oh, come on! <laughs> Je t'ai dit de ne pas être si grossier. Ça doit être à la mode chez eux. <laughs> All right. All right, making fun of his hair behind his back. Oh, ce n'est pas du tout le cas, vous savez. Oh. She speaks our language. Yeah, you busted, boy. I most certainly do, despite my strange looks. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> now you see why I told you to be polite, huh? Ah. It's all right. Even I think my hair looks funny, but I can't get it to do anything else. Tiz, you could understand us. Uh, I could kind of guess somehow. Really? <laughs> what a riot you bunch are. I wonder if it's some kind of lingering effect of being joined so, with the, uh... Mr. Lotus, about this cannon. Of uh, being joined with that... What was it? What were you joined with? A cel celestial? Or was it a spirit? It was something in the last game. I'd have to go back and look at exactly what it was you were joined with. Because it's, like, technically us in the real world uh, joined with him. I wonder if it's just, like, a byproduct of, like, all of a sudden he can understand all these different languages, he has all these different powers, because of that joining. Man, bitches love cannons. Thank you, Helsing Abridged. Oh, right. You had your eyes on the SP cannon. A true technological marvel, this. It converts the energy we call SP into a burning ray of immense power. Of the many weapons passed down among the Sajita, it is by far the most potent. Interesting. Uh -huh. So that explains the beam and those enormous SP readings. And that also explains why some of you heard the uh, brave, the uh, bravely, se bravely second time stop. Or was it, is it called bravely second? I don't know if it's just like the game, if the game is called Bravely Second. What's it called? What is the actual action called? I think it's Bravely Second. Yeah, it is, because I remember them saying Bravely Second, and then all of a sudden time stops. Yeah. So that's why you all heard that background noise from the Bravely Second. Still, it's huge. We had nothing with this scale on the moon. Did you build it here? Oh, no. It was not us. It has always been here. Since the days of legend, our people have lived in its shadow for centuries. Busting then balls. The day might come when we use it to shoot down the ball. 
SP cannon, huh? <gasps> I've got it. How's about you shoot us out of this thing over to the skyhold? You would be destroyed on the way there. You'd be blasted on me, morceau. <laughs> Try to think of something that won't kill you. Yeah. Oh, really? I thought it was a pretty good idea. While we think it over, come and take a look at this. Is it is there an hourglass powering it? What's that? That there is our SP storage tank. See those beds down below? We collect SP for storage from the folks who sleep down there. Ha! I get it. You put the system to sleep. You gather and store SP. Just a moment. What exactly is SP anyway? Good question. The truth is, even we don't entirely understand. But it's said that SP is energy produced by the flow of time. You know how energy can be harnessed from the flow of water or wind, yes? Yeah. Same with SP. But it's harnessed from the flow of time, as far as we know. And beds are the generators which catch that power. It is? Believe it or not, I never knew that. Then perhaps this hourglass operates on the same principle? Maybe. Maybe, oh, maybe it's like a generator that as the sand goes through, it just collects the energy from it. Our as the, fa of the sand, sand flowing. It can also collect and store SP. In fact, it seems to do it all automatically. Incroyable. Such a small device can store SP, and you don't even need to sleep? Huh. Now that I think about it, they're kind of operating on the last game's SP. <laughs> we, we have more modern SP. <laughs> Could you let me have a look at it? Be my guest. Well, uh, what are all these scratches and dings? It looks like it might fall apart at any moment. I guess we have been a bit rough with it. We, huh? Murder girl. Hey, we've only used that thing like once or twice, alright? It can't be that roughed up. Hmm, I might be able to fix it up for you. What do you say? Spoken like a true engineer. <laughs> It'll be just a quick welding job. And it would be my pleasure. Yeah, go for it. Hold on. Take a gander. You said quick welding job. I heard hammer and a saw. What did you do to my SP device? Oh, it's gold now. What else did you upgrade? Sorry, all I did was fix up the casing. It may not be exciting, but it's the best I can do with the knowledge we have. It's more than enough. Thank you, Lotus. I've got it. What if it were possible to use SP to fly? Um, alright. Please, Mr. Lotus, we need to know more about how SP works. Do you know where we can find the earliest records of the Sagitta? They just might have the answers we seek. Hmm, if there's any such thing. It would be in the ruins of Old Sajita. Old Sajita. It's a bit of a hike, but I can guide you. Let me mark your map. Thank you very much. Hmm. Procyon, you should come as well. Don't bring the kid! You our past, that you may guide the Sajita wisely into the future. You're gonna get him hurt! Ah. Uh. That's not going to end up well. Oh, I just realized I'm not in battle, so I should have, uh... Yeah, that's the, this is the only downside of this setup I showed you guys before. Is that I need to switch out my Divining Rod and Dungeon Master for Stand Ground whenever there's going to be a ba boss battle. Ah, uh, there's stuff here and I kind of want to look for it, but I don't really have the time. Oh! Okay, got something. Was right by the exit. 
Well, all right then. Ooh. Cool. All right. Well, uh, I guess that's going to do it for this episode. So I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all next time. Bye.